Okay, guys, this is an example of my notebook. So you have notebook check number one that your parents are supposed to be grading your notebooks and sending it back in for a major grade by Monday. So if you need to see what it should look like, then here is mine. Okay, this is my first page of table of content. And since we've done a whole lot of stuff already in these first nine weeks and it's filling up fast, I started putting ranges on my pages. So if you notice where my fraction operations are, I uh, just put the range for each operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So all of that should be on pages 13 through 15. Your decimal operations is going to be pages 16 through 17 and so on. So if you need to, pause the video right now and just copy this down. And as you go along and you put your notes and stuff in, you should be adding to your table of contents on your own. Okay, so notice we have page one right here in this corner. So that means all of your odd number pages should be on the right side of your book, which makes all of your even numbered pages on the left side. So the back of page one, which is page two, is also going to be for table of contents. It should still be blank at this point. Okay, when we slide over to see page three, you should have your star match chart. And the first few pages should already be in there because we did this part in class. Okay, when you turn to page four, you're going to have your multiplication chart. Page five is your FDP memory sheet. On the back of page five is page six, which is your code words and math. Across from that on page seven is your UPS check or your problem solving plan. The next page, you should have your place value chart on page 8. Okay, across from that, I have video notes too, actually, because um, since it's fraction decimal percent conversions and you need to know place value for a lot of that, I went ahead and put it across from the place value chart so that in case, you know, you struggle with that, you can easily look back at your place value chart to see how to read a decimal number. Okay, we also did the Dr. Pepper foldable. So right up under my video notes is my foldable. So if you have lost your Dr. Pepper foldable and you need to make another one, you can pause the video and copy mine. Okay, so you're going to pause now and copy if you don't have your foldable in your notebook. Okay, that was the front again, and it just closes right back up in the notebook. Okay, to the next page. On page 10, you should have, sorry, video notes 1, which is your mixed numbers and improper fractions. Okay, page 11, your sets of numbers, video notes 3. Next page is page 12. That's where you're going to have video notes 4 which is operations with fractions and decimals. Okay. The next page on page 13 is the handouts that I gave you where the notes were already written on adding and subtracting fractions. And I just have both of them here. So this is the first copy. And right up under it, I've taped the one for regrouping. So both of them will go on this page. Okay, page 14. Behind that is where you should have your... <clears throat> foldables for multiplying fractions and dividing fractions. And I think if you were in Ms. Parker's class to begin with, you probably were not here at the time that we did this. So if you want, you can just make a copy from mine. And let me try to get it all on the screen for you. I have to just go smaller. All right. Okay, so this is the front, and it's folded hot dog style. So that's the front, and I'm showing you both foldables at once. So this is both pages 14 and 15 at the same time. Now when I open up the foldable for multiplying fractions, we have some examples. So you can pause the video, copy that down. Okay. 
and the dividing fraction is foldable. When we open it up, all that behind there, that was another process. So this is the inside of the dividing fractions foldable. So pause the video if you need to right now and copy it down. Alright. Let's move on. Okay, on pages 16 and 17 is where we added the examples for decimal operations. So on page 16, you should have your adding and subtracting. And I think I can zoom back in a little bit. And then on page 17, we have the dividing part. And remember, I'm just going to go on and flip through. So pause the video at any time and copy down what you don't have. Okay, page 18, you should have your um, video notes 5, which is integer operations. And this should be filled in. Okay, and we also did some examples in class. So right up under your video notes 5, you should have the adding integers and subtracting integers. Pause if you need to. And then across from there on page 19 is where we did multiplying and dividing integers. Okay, after that on page 20, you should have video note 6, which is integers in the real world. So this should all be filled in. Okay, after that we started inequalities. So the next page is the inequalities booklet. And it's over, I'm sorry, not inequalities, but equations. So you should have your equations um, sheet. So it's just a, basically a front and back sheet that we did in class together, which is on page 21. Shows you how to write equations from your problems. Okay, on the next page is video note 7. And you had one step equations and you had two step equations. So page 22 we have the one step equations video note 7 and part 2 is on page 23 for two step equations. Okay, next page you have video note 8 which is modeling equations. On page 25 is where we started inequalities. So this should be video notes 9. This is the part that you have to write in your notebook. Okay, and then behind here on page 26 is where I have the, the outline part that you received. Okay, on page 27 I have the uh, two-step inequalities booklet, and this should be all filled in because we did fill this in in class. Okay, page 28, right behind that is where we started video notes 10. So what I did was I broke my video notes up into sections. Since the first part was still graphing and writing, I took the first two pages and put it over here. So it's basically pages 37, 38, 39, and 40. Should be all filled in and put on page 28. Okay, then the adding and subtracting part started on page 41. So on page 41, you had the addition, and on page 42, you had the subtraction. So that should be on page 29 in your notebook. Okay, right behind that, you should have your multiplying and dividing parts. So my video notes 10, part 2, starts on page 30. And it's the page 44 and 45 section. Sorry, 43 and 44, which is the multiplying part. And then we have the dividing part, which is the very last page of your video notes. And then you have the back side of it is the word problems. You should have at least one through four done on that. Okay, and if you're wondering what this is under here, this is the little notes page that I gave you that just told you how to solve two-step equations, I'm sorry, inequalities, when you have word problems. So we didn't really go over this in class. I just gave this to you for notes. 
Okay, page 32, we've got where we started anger relationships. So pages 32 and 33 should be the part that you wrote in your composition notebook from video notes 11. So you can pause and copy if you need to, or you can always go back and rewatch the videos. Okay, the next page were the handouts that I gave you. So we did this one in class, and we didn't finish these last two, I don't think. So you can just fill those in, you know, right now if you want. On page 35 is the outline part of video notes 11. So you should have gotten this from the video. Page 36 and 37 is our sales tax. So you receive this little notes page. And just have it taped on top of the example that we did in class together. So you should already have this written in your notebook on page 36. If you wrote it on a piece of paper, tape it in. Okay, then we did the sales tax practice, and I went over all of the questions in class. So everybody's paper like this should be totally finished. And we even did an extra problem on the back here. And I went over that in class as well. So that's on page 37. Okay, page 38 and 39 is where we're to have our family budget stuff. So that's video notes 12. So you should have copied this when the video first came on into your notebook. And then you should have this part all filled out. Now this page is still blank because we were going to do something else in class and then put it there. So page 39 is blank for now. Okay, pages 40 and 41 are the simple and compound interest pages. So you just have your little notes page. And then right up under that, we have the side where we did the simple interest. And we did this in class, so everybody should already have this in there. If you are absent, then get a copy. And then page 41 is the side where we did the compound interest. And then the last pages you should have in here should be 42 and 43 which is the um, purchasing decisions for your better buy. Okay, so you have this little notes page with just some examples. And then we started um, writing notes in our notebooks, and we did some more examples together. So here's example one, and you should have your little problem taped up. So it should look like this on page 42. And then on page 43 is where we did example two with guitar central and music marks. And that should conclude what you have in your notebook so far. If you have um, if you need to please go back and rewatch the videos and get all of your uh, video notes completed because whatever is not completed is not counted towards your grade. Everything must be filled in. Alright guys I'll see you on Monday. Please come in with your extra credit assignments and your composition notebook check one all done have a good week